Let's talk to Paul Wallace. He's a trading coach and founder of the London Traders Network. Very good morning to you, young Paul. Good morning, Miss. Right, five thoughts-provoking slides. I like number five, but we'll come to that. Um, let's kick off with the first one. What type of trader are you? Fire away, sir. Yeah, well, I thought I'd do something a bit different, as always. You know, as always. Keep it, try and keep it a bit different. So, uh, you know, in my experience, uh, you know, a, a trader tends to have success when they actually trade in alignment with, you know, who they are. Yeah. You know, their kind of beliefs, you know, the person personality. So part of it is about understanding what type of trader you are and what type of human being you are. Within uh, within markets, we know that, you know, fear and greed are the dominant emotions that are expressed every day. You know, right? Some people might say hope as well, but we know hope isn't a strategy. But, you know, fear and greed gets expressed every day, you know, because they're dominant human emotions. And it's about recognizing and understanding, okay, within all of us, we will experience fear and greed, but we will tend to have a bias. You know, one of us will be either like a fear-based trader, or alternatively, one of us will be a greed-based trader. And part of it today was about sort of trying to explain that to the, to the uh, wise Understood. audience. Okay, so let's go on to the next slide. Right, so it's a bit oh. like, sorry, I was going to say, a bit like the hare and the tortoise, okay, you know, uh, you know, fear-based traders, okay, you know, and, and hopefully, you know, as a talk, maybe people watching will, will you know, it'll, it'll resonate with them, but very often, you know, fear-based traders, you know, they're, they're, they're slow to enter, okay, because they're, they're looking for perfection, they need everything to align, you know, yep. I see a fear-based trader's charts has got like 20 different indicators on it because he's just waiting for everything to line up, yep. so he gets, to, takes the perfect trade, and actually, what tends to happen is that he actually misses trades because he's always like looking for like you know the next best thing. It's not perfect, not yep. right. You know they miss out on it, uh, and then invariably when they you know when they are in trades, they do tend to take small losses because they they, they will get out of a trade quickly. You know they you know they'll be they'll be they'll be frightened out of a trade. Okay. Yeah. They also cut the profit short. Yeah. Uh, and then invariably they'll also experience a bit of that analysis paralysis. All right. Fantastic. So uh, you know a fear-based trader, uh, and I suppose what I wanted to stress is that there's kind of no right or wrong here. It's about knowing who you are, okay? You know, knowing who you are, all right? And, and well, that's you half do. the battle, right? Yeah, exactly. Once you know who you are, you're in a position to trade better because you can trade in alignment with, with who you are rather than trying to fight yourself or, you know, or fight the markets. So, uh, you know, I, I admit myself, you know, I know I'm a fear-based trader, okay? I know I'm a fear-based trader. And so in a couple of slides' time, we can talk about, you know, what, what can you do to, to help Okay, yourself. so let's go on to the next slide. So yeah, the hair, all right. The greed-based <laughs> trader, all right. You know, they, you know these guys and girls. You see them, all right. They're all, you know, always on the hunt. You know, they love buying and selling, all right. You know, impulsive. They'll you know get in any trade for any kind of reason, all yeah. right. You know, you, there's a bit of a smile on your face there, yeah, uh, Moose. Yeah, all right. My yeah. <laughs> you know, they're impulsive. They're, you know, they're thinking about you know the, the profits. They're always thinking about where's the profit, okay. And, and with that, it tends to be maybe sometimes they don't respect the market. They don't respect the capital. They you know they think they are they are bigger and better than the the market. And so so very often with a lot of greed-based traders, I see very weak or, or, or no risk management in play whatsoever. And so invariably, you know, also means that, you know, they end up over-trading, they're over-leveraging, they stay too long in a trade because they're trying to sort of, you know, sort of get blood out of a stone, get every last pip of profit out of a, uh, out of a particular trade, okay? So, um, you know, the, the, the thing I would say about greed-based traders is that the greed-based traders tend to be, they would be the ones that go on to make the great fortunes. But they don't because they actually are terrible at risk management. All right, their risk management is, is is woeful and weak, and it's that that basically you know does for them time after time after time. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. So uh, invariably, you know, uh, we need to you know have a little uh, little way to, to overcome you know these you know these. We need within. a coach. You need a coach. There's <laughs> that. But really, you know, it's about simplicity and structure. All right. So a fear-based trader. One of the things that helped me years ago was about recognising, especially with intraday trading, is that uh, ambiguity is a killer. Okay. And what I mean by that is, you know, you know, I needed to have a very simple, precise trading plan that I knew exactly what was my entry trigger. So there's no kind of ambiguity during a fast-moving market. Should I be in? Should I be like, oh, Because that hesitation means you'll just miss the you'll miss the trade. You'll find a reason not to take it. So a simple, precise trade plan so you know exactly what is your entry trigger. There is no ambiguity. That's my trade. Pull the trigger. Get on with it. Because actually, the only way to overcome fear in anything is to take a bit of action. Yeah. For greed-based traders, yet they also need a, you know a, like a simple trade plan because that will help sort of stop them from taking impulsive trades. Yeah. But more importantly, it needs to just be a simple, robust risk management plan. You know, only risking small portions of your capital on a trade. Never trading without uh, you know a, a stop loss. Okay. Ensuring that you know actually you know your value at risk is is you know is a, is a is a reasonable number. Okay. So that it allows you know that it allows that kind of the greed side of you to 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 flourish to work, but without you know without living you without allowing you to sort of basically not you know go 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 dead duck in a day so uh, part of it is about understanding you know what type of trader 
for you. Right. Do you know what type of trader you'd have been? I, I know exactly what I was. OK, <laughs> let's wrap up with the last slide. Yeah, and as always, you know, I uh, say, you know, you can always come and disagree with me. You know, I always, always welcome the debate. Uh, and the place you can do it, London Traders Network, right? Um, come and have a beer with your tribe, as I say. Next one is uh, 18th of July, next Wednesday evening from about half six in the uh, cellar of the New Moon Pub on Grace Church Street. It's literally like old school kind of a social, uh, you know. I am play. Exactly. Come have a beer and a chat about your trading with others, you know. And um, the interesting thing is, you know, having been doing that for 10 years, I'd say about 80% of the time within a conversation with a new trader, I can tell pretty much whether they're a greed-based trader or a fear-based trader just from the, the body language, the conversation and what have you. And, so, and what's uh, my body language telling you, know, you that I used to be? Greed-based trader. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. There right, you go. so on that note, young Paul, see you next Wednesday evening. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome.